Hey guys, it's CH here with VillagePartMedia.com with our third tutorial on how to build a content management system with PHP. I'm just going to start saying CMS because content management system uh, makes me feel like I have a speech impediment or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a database. And a database is, is a must-have. You cannot have a CMS without a database. It's going to hold all of our information and all of our clients or customers or anybody who logs in or comments on your stuff as well as information and uh, yeah that's what it's for it's for to store edit and keep files for long periods of time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create it on our local host which is we uh, which is why we downloaded XAMPP and we're gonna fire this up first things first turn on Apache it's password time MySQL database. Okay, when that's on, our local host should be up and running. So let's go to a browser. I'm in Chrome right now. Does not matter. Again, just type in localhost. And uh, here we go. Here's our dashboard. And XAMPP, the M in, the M in XAMPP stands for MySQL. And we have an awesome MySQL application here in our tools. It's called PHP MyAdmin. Before PHP MyAdmin, we had to make all our MySQL changes and commands in terminal which was a nightmare and there's a lot more to go wrong and just easier to make mistakes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on PHP MyAdmin to access our MySQL databases okay so this is the page that we're looking for I've got all my previous databases off here on the left hand side and this is really the only information we're looking for we have to create a new database uh, there's two rules they all have to be lower cased and if you want to create a database that's got two words. Each word has to be separated by an underscore. So for this database, I'm going to create a database called Village Park. And again, there's no right or wrong with what you want to choose to name your database. It's just, again, something that you need to remember later on for configuration purposes. So this is all we really need to do. It's set to UTF-8, which is pretty much uppercase English. And um, let's go ahead and create it. Oh, our database Village Park already exists. So what we're going to do is we're going to name it something else. And I'm going to name it my middle name, Sterling, because I'm not going to forget that either. Create that. There it is. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to really dive deep into our PHP MyAdmin because we're going to have to populate our database with uh, information to retrieve to we could, so we could pull it back into our front end, to our HTML. So I'll see you guys in the next video.